So hook me up with your favorite DFS plays for this Jaguars Bengals showdown. I will start with you, young Kenneth. Who was your pick for captain? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy I'm going first. So that way these guys have to scramble. Because, yeah, the <laughs> obvious pick here is Jamar Chase. Uh, you look, he's and you got no T. Higgins out there for, for Cincinnati. You got a terrible Jaguars secondary. Uh, you know, Jamar Chase comes in at 15.3K. And he is the best captain option despite being the fourth most expensive captain. Um, look, I think that you could also look at Joe Burrow here if you really wanted to. You really just, uh, uh, you know, uh, penny pockets or I don't know where there's some name that you could give people uh, but look I just you have deep pockets and you want to pay for Joe Burrow but I, I think that uh, he should be going to Jamar Chase even more than normal Chase is the second on the team in targets and he should continue to see more here uh, you know he's he's just done a really good job of catching deep balls this year I think he finds the end zone again but I think you know either here or if you want to spend down and go to Tyler Boyd at eleven point one. I mean he is the target leader on the Bengals, so get even more. One of those two guys are a solid captain pick. Yeah, Jeff, I know it's hard to push against like Jamar Chase. I know we mentioned it yesterday on the award-winning edition of the Slate on Wednesday night with Reed T. Fowler. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. Look, uh, and, and Kenny's you know he's on the right track here, but I do think Tyler Boyd is a superior option. It's a big gap in price we're talking about here. It's not small. I mean, it's $4,000 between Boyd and Jamar Chase. And you're looking at a player in Tyler Boyd who leads the Bengals in targets. What has Jacksonville done bad? Well, they've done everything bad, quite <laughs> frankly. But they've been bad against slot receivers. Uh, Christian Kirk, over 100 yards against them. Danny Amendola scored a touchdown against them in week one. This is a really good matchup for Tyler Boyd. You've got Joe Burrow playing at a really efficient rate right now. Their O-line took a step up last week. I think you might see Boyd lead the Bengals in targets and uh, and potentially just all receiving categories here as Jacksonville obviously very frightened about the speed and downfield ability of Jamar Chase. I, I think they probably let off the gas a little bit on Boyd. And I think from a DFS perspective, the big thing is here, again, it's so much cheaper to roster Boyd. He allows you so much more flexibility. I think he's the better play in the captain spot.